Hello, Jenny Hall here for Trinity Stamps. Thanks for joining us for a special video hop. We're here to celebrate the new colors from Ink on 3. Sweet Petunia Pink, Trinity Teal, and Shark Tooth White. Today's project is going to give you some ideas to pair Trinity Stamps products with your Ink on 3 inks. I'm going to start by putting an oval stencil from the Trinity shop onto a top folding card base. I've adhered a little bit of pixie spray to hold it in place. Now I'm going to use some Blending Buddy brushes and I've got the perfect color caps to add for the new Ink on 3 ink colors. So if you have purchased the color caps and the Blending Buddy system, then you have those extra caps on hand to cover those three new inks. So let's add some of this beautiful ink right onto a card base. I've got that stencil adhered, and so I'm using the Blending Buddy brush, and notice that I do tap off on the inside of the top lid for the ink. That's a tip that I picked up from Florette Bloom, who is the creator of the Atelier inks from Ink on 3. Now these are not dye inks, they are a hybrid ink, and they blend together wonderfully. Once the Trinity Teal is added towards the bottom, can you see the area where the pink and the teal are overlapping? That's mixing together and creating a brand new ink shade. It's a sort of a purple and it is so pretty. So because it makes that wonderful overlap, I'm going to use that to my advantage and use that beautiful purple as my horizon line. I'm concentrating more of the teal down in the bottom. Now let's see what we can do with the white ink. There's lots of different ways to use white pigment ink, but let's use it here at the very top just to get a lighter shade. Let's say I got a little heavy handed at the top area then using some white ink is perfect to just go back over and make it a little smoother transition. And then I'm going to make sure to clean my brush off because that pink ink would transfer over. Now I'm giving it a little spritz that's a fine mist of water and now I'm giving it the larger droplets. And because the Atelier inks are water reactive, then it's really going to show up whenever you do this method. The ink refill, especially the white, shark tooth white from Ink on 3, is going to come in really handy as making ink splatters on a background always adds some interest. So I've added those ink splatters and then peel off the stencil and you can see here that it's a quick and easy, beautiful background. I'm going to use some more Ink on 3 products in order to add my sentiment. This is a stamp set from Trinity Stamps called Snowflake Kisses. There is not a coordinating die, it's just a really beautiful stamp. So I'm going to use some Juicy Embossing Ink and Arctic White Embossing Powder from Ink on 3 to add the stamp right in the middle of that oval area. It's a very quick and easy card. You could use any colors, and especially with Ink on 3, you can use any of their colors to mix together beautifully. This stamp set works really great in all sorts of themes. You could even add a little character or critter down in the corner, and it would complement the design overall. To top off the project, I'm going to keep it simple and add some Rainbow Blizzard Embellishment Mix Snowflakes, and they have just the right colors. Thank you so much for joining us in celebrating the new colors from Ink on 3. Don't forget that all of the videos that are in this video hop are linked together to give you more ideas for your Trinity Stamps and Ink on 3 projects. Ink on 3 products are available in the Trinity Stamp store. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.